I'm just starting to mock up the engine and box in the back end. It looks really oi. I've had to put some weight in because the back end's getting lowered and too heavy. So uh mocked up a frame. Probably seen that earlier. Just that's where the gearbox is gonna get held. A little bit of clearance underneath everything. I'm happy with where it sits. So I'm just making the engine bracket. So I started off by bending this round here. Uh, that's going to get bolted onto there. And I'm just going to make a plate that takes it down to here and then strengthening bars at the back of it. It's about seven, seven and a half inches higher. So I'll get on that now uh, and show you where it goes. Just going to make a template of that form and get that welded together. Uh, well that's almost it. I'm going to add some strengthening brackets to this so when it's in the car and it's holding the V8 it won't go anywhere but weld these two together, make my holes for the uh, to bolt it to the beam, to bolt it to the back of the car and nearly there so so just a short video but uh, I'll add this to the rest and show you the uh, what it looks like in the end. Right, so just put um, a couple of 20mm holes in the plate, one inch from the bottom, lined it up nice. Uh, I've levelled off the back of the car, and then I'm going to level off the engine, so I know where that is, so it's all flat, flat. And then, once it's all level, I'll mark the holes for the mounting points get those drilled, get that bolted in, and then I know engine level, body level, crack on from there. I've got a really nice bush for this end, which unfortunately I forgot it's at work, um, and I'm gonna sort that out. So the bush comes up, two nice mounting plates come down, and it'll actually come off the factory mounting point now, rather than this, this bracket. The mounting's gonna come off of that factory. I'll ditch the original um, bush, because that's going to shear to my mind, so I'm going to take that off and put mine in that place. So on to the next. I'll do a bit of levelling now, get this done, and then I'm going to work out how I'm going to stiffen that plate and make it nice. I've also got to go and fetch the uh, factory engine mounts, and then I'm going to redirect them down to the plate with another engine with another mount down here, so that. I'm strong triangles in all directions it should be nice and strong heavy but nice and strong right that's the gearbox in it's as close as I can get it there sitting on the top I got the engine raised done gearbox on basically gonna get uh, get some strengthening welded into this maybe down there and down that side and make it look nice, tight it up, get all the finish welding done on it, radius the corners, that sort of nonsense, make it look nice. But it is sitting there under its own weight, which is great. Uh, probably do another video tomorrow, I think. That's it for tonight, getting late. I've just started on the um, the gearbox engine mount. Quite a substantial lump, but it's got to take the weight. Of, uh, hopefully wheel standing and stuff like that. So that's going down there where the factory mount used to be. And then I'll pick up these points here. Uh, I'll make a little cradle for that now. Knock that out. And then hopefully engine's in place. Front mount can get beefed up a bit, back mounts get beefed up and uh, she'll sit there then. So I'll just get on with that now, make a mount. It is only tapped in place but 
that's the bracket bolted in tacked up here I'll uh, I'll properly MIG weld it all up get it all nice then I'll radius the corners and radius the ends radius down here make it all really nice and then I'll put some material in here with radiuses on to strengthen all that up and I might even down here as well give it as much strength as I could possibly can and then uh, it's done not far off it's resting on here at the moment and again I'm gonna radius the corners put some strengthening revs in all the way down to the bolts I'm leaving this long because I'm gonna put some strengthening from here to the bulkhead to stop these horns moving when it's under proper load but it's got no support now it's sitting there on its own uh, that's it do some more tomorrow while it's raining uh, doing a bit of mucking up now of the rear end try and work out my heights uh, and the angles more importantly and I'm trying to work out where the body's going to sit in relation to the floor when the weight's on it so I'm going to have to temporarily fix this end temporarily fix this end uh, put weight on it and see what it does I guess because I've got the weight of all the engine gearbox body everything else I'm setting it probably about four inches the tires four inches below the chassis and then I've got to add weight worst case scenario I'll just add raise it with the uh, connection rod so I'm going to do a connection rod from here to the spring and then I can change that connection rod which will give me different heights so I can do that later this is only about five inch lift and that's about a five inch lift so I might go for that put all the weight on it put it on the floor see what I end up with so for now I'm just going to mop this up get it welded up and see how we go on nearly there just knocked a 50mm frame up so I'm going to start off of that and then that's going to bolt to my original floor pan. This will then be my suspension and everything will be framed and then it will come along where the heater channel is all the way to the front of the car. So I'll, back, I'll tie the front to the back of the car with the frame and then my suspension will come off of that and then the chassis will all be bolted to that. So the chassis will stay standard stock, keep my number plates, no messing around and then the suspension will pick up off of that so I've now got to get from there to here and over to box it out, frame it up, I'll work something out and then I'm going to put a pickup point here coming up which is going to have the suspension from there to here pick up so that's where my pivot point will be just going to add that uh, got about nine ten degrees of angle on the shaft and I've got zero angle in plane so hopefully that's the best I can get it that means that I can get the wheel back as far as I could possibly get it in that direction and then that will sit as far back for the engine as I can get so shifting the weight as far forward as I can get best I can considering um, all good just making a bit of template for my firewall to get the get the angles right and then I'm going to cut it out of a, a sheet of two and a half mil steel which I've got that will give me a nice solid firewall uh, anything goes wrong behind me then it's all behind me so happy day I'll, um, I'll get this template marked up get the big sheet of steel cut out get it sort of cut for length and then from there I'm going to work out where I mount the suspension points on the back of that and then I can put the strengthening to hold it all in place.
and then this will become one unit which I can take off, put on, bolt in place. Uh, with the aid of child number two, I've uh, plasma cut out the firewall. I've got a little box that's going to get made to go onto there because I need access to get to the uh, shifter mechanism. And then we've finished off the brace, engine cradle if you want. It's all stiffened up, bolted on, welded up. I'm quite happy the way that looks. And the gearbox cradle's all finished as well. That's all made up. Bolted in place. Nice and super strong. Next on the list is to make a bar that's going to go on here and then it's going to come down to here to just stiffen up and get a bit of a triangle going so that the engine don't go anywhere. But I need to get some mounts down this end, I think, so that it's uh, super strong again. Uh, that's about it for this section. And I'll get on with the suspension now that the firewall's done and we can weld that in place and get that sort of lined up and square. <laughs>